10 Things You Need to Hear If You're Involved with a Narcissist, today at queenbeing.com. My name is Angela Atkinson, and I'm a certified life coach, author, and a fellow survivor of narcissistic abuse in relationships. Today at queenbeing.com, I'm going to share the top 10 things you need to hear when you've been involved with a narcissist. The fact is that if you're dealing with a narcissist or an otherwise toxic family member or friend, you've probably got a lot of someone else's thoughts floating around in your head. You might think you're not good enough. You might think that your feelings and thoughts aren't genuine or relevant to the world, and you might even feel like a big fake when you do try to follow your dreams just because you've heard for so long that you're not worthy, whether you've heard it directly or indirectly. Gaslighting uh, is difficult. If you are struggling with it in a toxic relationship with a narcissist, especially one that's based in your family and your, where you live, uh, you've, you've probably had so much conditioning that you're just not even really sure which way is up. The first step is to start healing within your own head. You have to change those thoughts and limiting beliefs that are holding you back. First, you've got to fix yourself. Then you can make choices you need to make in order to remedy the situation and make your life better. So let's start here. When I was in my own toxic family situation, I struggled with feelings of hopelessness, worthlessness, and more. I felt like I didn't do anything right, nothing I said was genuine or worth knowing about, and like I had to hide who I was in order to conform to the expectations of my toxic family member. But I learned some pretty important lessons as I began the healing process, and I'd like to share them with you today. Maybe it'll help you during your healing process. So if you're currently in this situation, you may never have heard these things before, and when you first do, you might not even believe them. Uh, but the truth is, these are the truths, and, and honestly, I'd like you to keep watching and listening and reading until you get it, uh, because the fact is that changing your mind is going to help you change your life. And you guys, I am living proof that it works, so please, don't let a narcissist ruin your self-worth. You just need to remember that you are good enough. So let's get started. Here are the top 10 things that you need to know if you are in a toxic relationship with a narcissist or a sociopath. Number one, you are a real person with legitimate concerns, thoughts, feelings, and aspirations. Number two, you are good enough. Number three, you don't need anyone's approval or endorsement to help you succeed. In fact, you can get validation through, your, through success in your own self-dictated endeavors. Number four, it's not about you and it's not your fault. You aren't bad and you aren't broken. Number five, you can literally do almost anything you want to do if you simply decide to do it. If you choose to, you'll be compelled to take inspired action and you will make it happen. Just believe it. Number six, you have something real to offer the world. You matter. You have value. Number seven, you can be exactly what you choose to be and choosing your own identity does not make you selfish lazy, entitled, or otherwise unsavory. Number eight, you define you. Never allow a narcissist to tell you who you are. You get to choose your own identity every single day. You get to decide, to decide who you are and how far you go. Number nine, you can compromise for someone you love uh, to a certain point, but then it's time to you know choose your priorities and to choose a path. Compromise means that both parties bend and both parties are satisfied with the outcome. It is not compromising to give up what you truly want in order to make someone else happy or to keep them getting from, from getting angry at you. Number 10. If you were to walk away from this toxic relationship, the world will not end. Hear me. It will be difficult, but you'll get through it. You'll have some soul searching to do. Personally, I had to re-examine everything I understood to be true. Now, if you need help with feeling powerful when you are dealing with an extremely toxic narcissist, I would like you to invite you to check out my book. It's called Take Back Your Power, How to End People Pleasing, Stop Letting Life Happen to You, and Start Getting What You Want. You'll find it, along with several other of my books on narcissism and recovery, at booksangiewrote.com. In the book, you'll, you'll find out this. Do you find yourself giving all you've got and people still want more? Do you sometimes uh, do without what you want in order to keep the people around you happy? 
Are you afraid to deal with confrontation? And do you often find it easier to just go with the flow in order to keep the peace? If you answered yes to any of these questions, you're probably a people pleaser. And a lot of people pleasers are also codependents with narcissists. Uh, they're also empathic, and, and they are especially attractive to those toxic types who love to take advantage of every, every opportunity they have. So in this book, you're going to learn how to stop feeling the need to make everyone else happy and start figuring out what makes you happy personally and genuinely, not someone, else, not, not someone else's idea of what is supposed to make you happy. So listen up. You deserve to be happy just as much as anyone else. Stop beating yourself up. Start embracing your personal power. Take back your life starting today. My name is Angela Atkinson, and I'm a certified life coach. If you have questions, comments, concerns, or things you want to talk about, please visit me at queenbeing.com and get additional information and support for narcissism and narcissistic abuse and recovery in relationships. Thank you for listening, and have a fabulous day.